Hey guys, it's Rachel and I am your Speak Now Friday on the Enchanters with these and we are in week 21. So I haven't uploaded in a few weeks and that's really not my fault. I tried really hard to upload but either my camera, my editing program or my computer just made it impossible for me to upload on those weeks and I'm really sorry about that. But yeah, I'm here now so it's good. So yeah, it's week 21 and I don't know if I'm the only one that noticed this but Taylor's last week of being 21 years old is in week 21 and the week that Taylor becomes 22 is week 22. How cool is that? Yeah, a lot of swift coolish things have happened to me since I last uploaded. This being one of them. I got this in the mail like the week of my last upload I think. So yeah, and then when this came out I bought it and it is just beyond amazing. Um, I'm obsessed with Betty Davis Eyes and Drops of Jupiter. They've been on repeat. <sighs> They've been on repeat since I got it. So yeah. And another thing. Um, I smelled Wonderstruck for the first time. Um, me and Phyllis Thursday, Emma, went into Myers one day to smell it. And so we walk in and we're just looking around for Wonderstruck and then I see Emma sprinting out of the corner of my eye. And so I figure that she's found Wonderstruck, so I start sprinting after her. And then she stops at the stand, which was really awesome. It had like Taylor everywhere, it was really cool. But yeah, she stops at the stand, but then I'm running way too fast. So I smash into Emma, I trip over my own feet and fall on the floor, smashing into Emma, making her smash into the stand, making the Wonderstruck bottle fall over. And I was freaking out that it would fall on the ground and like smash into a million pieces, but it didn't. Emma picked it up and it was all good. It was just really embarrassing. So yeah, I got sample. It's really pretty. And I really want the bottle because it smells so nice. It's kind of running out of its smell, but yeah, I've used a little over half of the bottle. Anyways, the theme this week is Taylor... Taylor's personal party plan. And the challenge is... Really? Swift scavenger hunt. The challenge is Swift... Swift... Swift scavenger hunt. I went kind of overboard with planning Taylor's party. I like wrote out like two pages and like details. I've cut it down a bit. But yeah, um, basically the party that I planned would be a surprise party organized by Andrea, Scott, Austin, Selena, Abigail, the agency, you know, just people that are really close to Taylor and know what she loves and stuff. Um, it would be pretty low key, but exciting enough to be fun. And um, everyone would bring an ornament or an object that reminded them of Taylor to put on the Christmas tree. And so like someone might bring a guitar, someone might bring like a big 13 or something, or like a cat. And then they'd all put it on the Christmas tree out the front that Andrea would set up. And when Taylor would come in, she'd just see like a Christmas tree of herself. And, yeah. and then the snacks, there would be pizza, cookie dough, ice cream, Sour Patch Kids, cheesecake. There'd be drinks, like the soft drinks would be available and alcohol would be available too but hopefully nobody would drink just to get drunk because that's just not cute. And the first activity that would take place at Taylor's party would be karaoke which would happen after Andrew has greeted everyone, they've put their ornaments on the Christmas tree, Taylor's come in, everyone's been like surprised and then she's been like thank you so much and stuff and then yeah that then karaoke would take place and whoever wanted to do it would do it, whoever didn't would just watch and talk to everyone and chill. And a photo booth would be available just like at Taylor's 18th birthday party. Um, so yeah, they can have fun with that. And the major activity of the night would be a cook-off um, where everyone would get into groups of about 13-ish um, and they'd bake something and 
there'd be three people who were judges and decide who wins. So yeah, and the entertainment would just be live music played by some of Taylor's favourite artists and bands and stuff. And um, that would, of course, be while the karaoke isn't on. And um, after the party, Taylor would have a longly, a longly, is that even a word? A long, no, it's not a word. Taylor would have a long awaited sleepover with Abigail. So yeah, that was my Taylor party. The end. So for the challenge, I had planned to go to Target or another store like that and find 13 Taylor related items, but I didn't get enough time to do that, so I'm just going to open my door to my bedroom and say the first 13 tailor related things that I see. Okay, so first of all, there's a poster of Taylor herself. There's my guitar, which is related to Taylor because she plays the guitar. There's a box that has like kittens all on it, and that's related to Taylor because she's like obsessed with cats and she has a pet, well it's fallen over, a pet cat called Meredith. There's a Taylor card, this like area of Taylorness and the calendar. There's um, a Wonderstruck sample and yeah it still smells amazing. My iPod which has the fearless, or we can't see it because of the dog thing though, but it's got the fearless um, thing. It's related to Taylor because it's when I bought the three Taylor greeting cards I've got. Um, what's that? Oh, Taylor's debut album and the Speak Now World Tour Live CD. Over here is a birthday card that I got for my 13th birthday and 13 is Taylor's lucky number. So I think, yeah, behind there's like a headband and Taylor likes wearing headbands. It's not exactly the same, but yeah. I'm going to go Nature Lux makeup because Taylor is a cover girl and also the nature, this like specific type of foundation is in Taylor's favourite. A Maya magazine because if you turn it to page 25, wait for it, wait for it, there it is, Wonderstruck and that's Taylor's fragrance. 